have a bento box for you! Hey guys! In today's video, we're going to make a bento box for the guinea pigs and I already have a very excited Lulu here with me. Lulu, we're going to try out something completely different! So, we'll have to figure out what we're going to need. Lulu, are you helping me with the shopping list? That's so nice of you! Thank you! Yeah, that's the shopping list. So we have to think about substitutes for fish and perhaps something for an egg. Hey Gatsby! You guys are going to get something really fancy today. You're going to be proper gourmet pigs today. We're going to get some pumpkin. Obviously a cucumber, because I think we're going to make some really nice guinea pig sushi. Bell pepper and perhaps some type of lettuce. Is the list looking good? And perhaps a kohlrabi, because that's kind of the staple with which we always do a lot of veggie DIYs. And I think this is going to be it. I think we can make something really great. Nugget. You're going to get food in a minute. You don't have to eat the shopping list. I just found these really cute little boxes in the supermarket while I was getting all of the ingredients that we need for our bento box. I've never attempted to do one before, so let's see how this works out. So the first thing we're going to start with is we're going to make the sushi for the bento box. So the guinea pigs are going to get some very nice guinea pig friendly sushi. Um, so these are going to be completely vegan and of course without rice because guinea pigs don't eat rice. So the base for the sushi is going to be a cucumber, nice and green. <laughs> We also want a kind of long bell pepper pizza. We'll make it work somehow. That's going to be a really nice dinner today for the guinea pigs. I think I might also add a little bit of lettuce. I think that's going to be some nice colorful sushi. Now I'm going to fill our Sushi, and as you can see, the bell pepper is a little bit too short, but that's okay because we're going to cut it into pieces in a minute anyway. And just kidding, this is not how we're going to make rice for the guinea pigs. We're going to cheat a little bit when it comes to the rice and we're going to use a kohlrabi. This is what it looks like um, because it's white on the inside. Um, so we're going to cut off the outer parts of it because we only want the white part in the middle. This is going to be the pieces of chicken. So I'm going to take a little bit of porridge. Many recipe ideas for bento boxes include egg rolls, but since the guinea pigs don't eat any eggs, um, I decided to go with some pumpkin um, because it is orange slash yellow, so I think it kind of works color-wise. A lot of these boxes also come with fish, kind of looking for an alternative and I thought maybe we could use some radicchio because the guinea pigs really love radicchio um, and make something that resembles fish out of this piece of radicchio. So I'm just going to give it a try now. What's the best way to start it? Probably with our
box for you! Piggies, are you ready for your first bento box ever? Yes? Okay. Ready? Go, piggies! Go! This was the bento box for the guinea pigs. I think it was a pretty big success. I had originally prepared a lot of extra sushis. Most of them are gone now. I had prepared a lot of extra sushis in case Sylvester didn't come out of the cage. And so that he could get a separate portion in the cage while the others were outside. But even Sylvester really wanted to participate and come outside the cage and eat some of the bento box. So I think this was a pretty big success if even Sylvester decided to come outside. Right, Sylvester? Thumbs up from you? Thumbs up from Sylvester, I think. Sylvester, do you want to have the last sushi? Do you want to take it inside with you? Yes, big success. Um, I'm going to end this video here. I hope you enjoyed it. 
and see you guys next time